What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to the Wall. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are just surging through Central Europe. And right now we have armies sat outside the gates of Dresden. So without further ado, let us attack. And I mean, we are making quite staggering progress through the Prussian countryside. So much so, I do not know how any other nation in the world will hope to withstand us. Right now we are unequivocally, unequivocally, if that's even how you pronounce it, pretty sure it is, fairly sure, we are masters of Europe. At this point, suck on that Napoleon, we've not even got to France yet. Okay, how, uh, foot artillery up front. Same with the howitzers. Let's put some... Um, uh, let's put f a bunch of Nizam. Let's go around the flank. Come on. There we go. You're all nicely hidden, except for you. Good. And through the front door, mostly cavalry, melee infantry. All looks good to me. Howitzers dropping quick lime shells. Missed quick lime. Quick climb hits on the fortress are actually going to drop, uh, going to drop quick climb into the central, central square, which will be pretty neat. It's the reinforcements coming in from this corner over here. Although I do not believe they have that many, that many reinforcements to give. Hey, they knocked out one of my howitzers. You will suffer for this. So they are ready. They're still keeping troops behind. Mountain Jaegers with their funny sounds. Ping, ping, ping. Let's speed up time a little bit. Just because... They've got some artillery at the back. 12 pounders. God damn! What the hell happened there? Well, they, these guys must have been climbing down the uh, down the defences, and off they fell. Good stuff. Um, but speed up time, just because right now it's just our artillery doing the good work. Maybe get one of these guys to focus on the Swiss grenadiers. Want to focus on that garrison the provincial line infantry unit. Come on, fellas. Make a hole in that wall. So that's their cavalry, their artillery, and some more dragoons. More dragoons coming up. Quick line picking away at the Grenadiers. There we go. <laughs> Does more damage to that provincial line infantry unit now thanks to them <laughs> trying to escape the wall. And let's just make a start on the second section of fortifications. Good, they are actually firing. Okay, good. Okay, while they're doing that, then I become more okay with pushing up. Pushing out the men. Actually, you no, know, you focus on that line entry unit first.
eight men. Don't worry, the drum is still alive. It's not a total failure. Let's see if we can make a second breach. Come some good old quick lime shots. Needs to thin some of these fellas out near the breach, especially their grenadiers and Swiss grenadiers. There's no rush though. If you want to rush me, they're going to be swarmed by melee infantry. Aha! Forgot about Le Motto. Oh, another big loss there. Okay, now we do have to run because I forgot about the mortars. Some of the enemy are sallying out. Alright, well my Janissary Musketeers are just going to go into square formation. Quite the decisive engagement you were after, was it? <laughs> oh, damn. Went pretty well from my perspective. What I am mightily cognizant of is the fact that uh, lots of my siege battles are a bit samey. Sars are still trying. That might be a good hit. Maybe not. Let's go to throw men into this section of the breach because they've got less defences here. They, over here they've got grenadiers and so on. General over. It's starting to 
pull their men away from the other breach. Twist a round shot for both of our sets of guns and aim at the mortars in the center of the city. These our infantry, get them to scale this section of the wall. guys are engaging these provincial line from the rear so hopefully we should start to get the better of them from the numbers side you guys to stop shooting ideally there we go break through the break through the combat you guys over the mortars to take him out and stop our house from firing their own mortars have caused all that damage and killed a bunch of my men I suspect there goes so these Nizam infantry attack this unit of armed citizenry so through pretty much holding one of their units hostage one of their yeah the, well, the main unit that's blocking our entrance uh, by fixing it with one of our units we managed to get some of our units around the flank these guys are still waiting waiting for these guys to kill the the uh, firelock arm well the firelock arm citizenry kill that unit of provincial line as well you guys go after the cannons I mean the central point is ours so we may as well hold it okay this bigger unit may as well run them off the wall Swiss Grenadiers are going down I want you guys to take out these armed citizenry so hopefully this Israeli unit can just pour straight through but I don't think that's going to happen they're slowly shuffling forward Grenadiers are going down. I'm sure none of our Delhi, Delhi horsemen have, have fire at will on. Killing. You can try kill this actual guy. Just one guy, if you'd like. To be honest, now it's just one guy. It doesn't really matter. Just run. Just leave him behind. Same with this cavalry, really. They can either spend hours trying to kill that one guy. carry on like this swiss mountain jaeger he's just gonna s <laughs> the ninth light foot just don't don't mind me Ooh, is, is he gonna have a go nope <laughs> he sees what's gonna happen he sees the battle is over there we go the city is ours There we go. And our unending march westward continues on. So let's repair these buildings. Let's 
reinforce the army. So we do have one unit behind our lines here. Which are probably going to take has if foad. Although you've got one unit of Oh no, you can't reach. Neither can you. You can, but you're a bit knackered, so you can wait on reinforcements. We should have Yeah, siege guns are coming up, and we should also have our Another relief column of infantry coming up. Let's upgrade the madrasa. So you're pushed right up front, but that's probably not well. That's the best. That's the best place to leave you for now until we can bring up our overall front line and finally, finally, do some damage to these chaps down here. But first of all, I want to check. So you're probably going to get attacked next turn if they can get to you. So the armies in Persia, they do want to uh, build up. It's going to take five turns. We're upgrading our military infrastructure, our military spending. To be honest, we're probably going to want... Probably going to want some more than that, really, to help them out. Start building up in Baghdad as well, because now we're now we're officially at war with the Mughals. Let's hop back over to the Americas. Yeah, Florida is going to be our our final attacking position. Let's pick up a sloop. Probably going to get, we're probably going to build two sloops, but I would like to sell you over. Maybe to go attack Antigua to knock out the pirates. Actually, no, the pirates don't bother me that much. Just sail over and hit Florida start to liberate them of their territories as well as the Austrian territories on the continent. Upgrading this to a madrasa to provide the first Islamic research building or Islamic religion building on the continent. Yeah, Saxony was ours. Budweiss, Budweiss is going to be destroyed because we have no need for that research position. Well, we, know, we have no need for that school. Sweden will die in due course. To be honest, it's tempting to just declare on them to make it official. But what does that mean? Okay, so they'd bring in... Oh, we're at war with both their allies anyway. But they're worth a lot of money to us, so it might make sense to just sweep through here and clear them out. But we do also want to take this army here. Can you leave Malta? Not easily. Sail down, take Tunis. And then sail down south to hit Denmark. Because we are also sieging Dagestan. And this army, when it's finished, will march south to help support forces against the Mughals. I think. So what is tempting? Oh, I don't know, actually, where is everyone? Okay, so we've got one unit back here being a scamp. Do I have... Uh, so where do I not have any more... Okay, let's do some reorganising. So I want to bring you here. Push this army east. And this guy with his yellow radius of action does capture this area, so this guy shouldn't be a problem. Peter Pappenheim. But I want to move an army south so I can position that army about... Can I... <laughs> I was like, well, I didn't even know that was a thing. I suppose it stops them from blocking your way. But what I'm shaping up for here, I think, is uh, position an army as a reinforcement so I can just bomb the hell out of uh, Hungary. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Let's check all our infrastructures up and ready. 
you can start to build a sloop to provide some cover. Although I am building an actual navy at the moment. It's probably where this army is going to be held in reserve to land and hit Finland, I think. Um, but I don't think there's much else I can much else I really need to do at the moment, so I'm going to hit N10. Let my agents continue to march on. New front lines. But I think it's definitely the right thing to do. To uh, to limit the amount of people with which we are at war at any one time. That's generally the smart idea. To not just declare war on everyone and say, yeah, boo. Um, consequences be damned. Uh, opportunity to intercept... Yes, I'm going to fight it because I don't want to damage both of these armies. If I attack you with this guy, which I think it's this one. No, it is this guy who's doing the intercepting. Because he's in good shape. This guy is depleted and the depleted units are all in the reinforcing army. But yeah, I don't want to auto-resolve because I don't want to do damage to unnecessary damage to these guys. So I'm going to have to fight it. Yeah, the reason why I want to have those two armies down by Hungary is I want to have one army to provide support for the second army. Because um, it could be a bit bloody with the amount of reinforcements that are going to come piling in. It's not too much of a... it's not too difficult because they'll be coming in single file. Um, then it's manageable. Okay, field artillery. Elevated position. How it says, just sit back, drop in quick lime. Form up our gun line. Their army is so small compared to ours. Um, I don't foresee any great need for strategy. Although I will happily redeploy. into the Lance of Guards, take them out. Swiss Mountain Jaegers are setting up. 24 pound a foot. Puckle guns. Yeah. Not overly worried about puckle guns. Get a howitzer to hit those irregulars. Devastating quick climb. Yep, it's. Yep. Yep. Why is my field artillery not firing? Oh, they are firing. There we go, they're suddenly starting to get a an idea that things might not be things might be about to go a bit pear shaped for them. They fired off their one volley and that's them done. The 
Royal Hungarian Grenadiers may provide a bit more of a f bit more sport. close range volley fire. Well, let's make sure I'm targeting all my artillery fire against one of the units that's actually on the field. in pretty rapidly. General's bodyguard go over here, ready to intercept the Hungarian grenadiers. These poor light infantry. Yeah, they bit the dust. Damn right we're gonna continue. Not going to worry about their cavalry. Did we kill that unit or did they just go hidden? The general's going to go. Is going to be, is going to safely be around their stakes. Chase down their grenadiers. Unit of Freikor done. And let's speed up time. So I charge these guys in just in case those light infantry were hidden. I just wanted to uh, flush them out. It looks like they have actually been destroyed. Which is pretty awesome. Come on, General. Knock out these. Knock out these grenadiers. There aren't that many grenadiers left. Ah, okay, now everyone back over to these Hungarian grenadiers. Oh, there they go. Decisive victory. Good. At a significantly better ratio than I probably would have got through auto resolve. Obviously, they route around my men. <laughs> they don't route back towards their lines, I suppose. That would be dumb. I mean, she went up the Prussian Navy. Oh yeah, the French have been uh, the French have been got absolutely pasted, didn't they? That's what happened. Aha! Uh -huh. Spanish agents. I'm afraid. You're too far away from my universities to have much of an effect back there. Yeah, they are still they're not gonna give up. Although I'm su I am surprised I've not had a any overtures for peace yet. Um, I would have expected some movement um, on their side. Who knows? Who knows how the AI works? They might think they have a chance, but I'm afraid they do not. Especially as the siege guns are coming up now. Mm-hmm. I'd fall back to a new defensive line if I were you, Prussia. I mean, yes, definitely do that. March your armies away from Hungary. That would be great. Let's see what Sweden has to say about this. <laughs> Not much. Oh, they did actually make it on time to our position. Cool. So they are attacking us at Zahedan.
But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first actual battle against the, uh, the Mughal Empire. I mean, they do have lots of bowmen, um, so I don't think we're going to have too much trouble. But then again, I do have lots of um, Feline Musketeers, which could do with some reinforcement of top-tier troops. But they're not here yet. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the battle at Zahedin. Cheers, everyone.